thinking of my great teacher. <laughs> that takes you back a few years. Good thing you're wearing that. He's taking care of um, Kiko. Kiko. Kiko's well. going to uh, daycare tomorrow. Oh, good. For well, daycare. He's sleeping over. Oh, good. Because Marlon's doing his parties this weekend. So. Oh, that kind of works out conveniently. I know it's perfect. So that means all of next week he's not going to be working. So he's got his dog at home with him. Good. That was nice. Yeah. <laughs> coordinated this. I mean, he booked it months ago, so oh. it just was a coincidence. It's all, every day is more or less the same, right? I guess if you think about it in terms of painting, you know, one day you paint the bushes and another time you're painting the landscape. Yeah, but I, if I, I can change as much as I want. I suppose it's right too. But. Yeah, I can make teapots and vases. I know, I can appreciate it. Well, actually, today is a better day because the clay is softer. Oh, it is? It's been really harsh. And I actually like it when it goes off balance. Are you making this uh, base? I just watched that. That was, that was so quick. It, it was, was amazing. instant. That was like instant. It just went whoop. It a, ba a base a second. Yeah. Holy shit. That was incredible. It's like Vegematic, right? Yeah. You should be able to do like 10 and a half an hour. Really? Five minutes, so. No, it's three. <laughs> <laughs> this one will be even faster because she's warmed up now. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and I'm kind of watching. Fire. Have you tried this before? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a lot. Tom went to Cranbrook. Oh really? So that was, oh, that's true. Um, you had to. Cranbrook was really didn't involved have to, in but crafts. Yeah. Maya Gretel and well, my pottery teacher was Maya Gretel's student. Was it Marguerite? No, his name was um, Mr. Klein. <laughs> Mr. Klein. He was brilliant. Yeah. What did he teach? Ceramics. Oh, ceramics. That's all he did. He just did ceramics. Wow. He made the most beautiful colors. Uh, and he developed a handful of really exquisite blazes. Wow. Oh, 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 Klein Blue. <laughs> Klein Blue. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> No, this is a very 70s, very earthy colors. Yeah, yeah. But they were really, they weren't cliche by any means. And he had this, I can't remember the deal, but there was one place that was so distinct. He didn't cover it up, but somehow spotted. Hmm. And so it's almost like animal spots. And he, had a, he would have a show every year down the corridor. Mm-hmm. Low boxes, and I'd never seen them before. Chocolate wood chips, and they smelled of chocolate. Like shredded cocoa Must pods or something? Yeah. Yeah, yeah people oh. put that in their garden sometimes. Oh. Oh. It smells delicious. Yeah. And so you'd walk down the corridors and you'd smell chocolate and look at pottery. <laughs> Pretty much improvising each each piece. Yeah. So why is today base day? Oh, it's a, it's always cup day. I thought these were bases. No, no, they're all cup. Oh, they are. Oh, they're yeah. just so they're, they're it's so a, big. It's they a hearty mug. They seem bigger than these. Well, because those have already shrunk down oh, about shrink. five percent, oh, and yeah. they'll shrink another five. And the kill. Oh, that's right. You got to make them big. Wow, look at that. That's nice. That's awesome. No two alike. What kind of one do you want me to make for you, Matt? Do you like the closed tops or do you like the... The closed tops are nice, actually. Yeah, they hold the heat in. Yeah, they hold the heat in and keep me from sloshing it all over the place. Oh, that's beautiful. Love that point. They look like muffins, don't they? (laughs) They do look like muffins ready to go in the oven. Especially that, that last one. Yeah, Very well, similar. and you always are starting with a ball of clay, so it's, uh, you know, it's the same thing. Yeah. It's the same thing. Yeah. 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 Yeah
seven. I have two. We two weird cups. I have two plates. Yeah. Oh, I thought you liked those pottery barns better than you like the hippie cups. <laughs> no, I don't see them as hippie cups. <laughs> <laughs> they're not hippie cups. No, because they're white and they don't, they don't have... They're, they're not chunky? They're not chunky and don't have drippy brown blades on them. Yeah, and bearded men on them. <laughs> <laughs> and, and a mustache holder. <laughs> <A> mustache. <laughs> <laughs> These are not hippie cups. These are timeless. I thought it was funny. Remember the time when I had a show in the group show here and we marked them at $50? Yeah. Oh, right. And they sold. Yeah. yeah. What do you usually sell them at? I think they were about, we used to wholesale them for five. Five? So usually they were 10 but that was 10 I mean, That was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. But um, they get marked up. I think the highest they were ever marked up was at Barney's or yeah. Candles at 25, so that's the equivalent of like 100 today, probably. That would have been in 1980. Okay. But when Robert and I were trying to decide where to live, and we were in the Midwest, uh-huh. going to college, and we had been up to some craft fairs in the Midwest, including Ann Arbor, which had a really big one. Mm-hmm. And so we got a sense of what production pottery was selling for. Yeah. And, but then when we came out here, the retail was like wholesale. Really? In the Midwest. You know, so cups were selling for $5 here. Oh, because they couldn't make a living. Is that because there's so many more out here? Or what? They were, it was just the same old thing about <laughs> jobs. <laughs> Living it is expensive here, and jobs are don't pay a lot. Yeah. So we didn't stay here. We went back to the East Coast huh. and opened up a pottery shop in Ithaca, New York. Yeah. And yeah, just sure. hung out a shingle <laughs> and um, rented this little grocery store. You've heard this story, haven't you? Yeah. We rented a little... Yeah. That's why I identify so much with what you and Lena are doing here at the compound. Yeah. <laughs> uh, because we rented an old grocery store. Uh, we hung a curtain across the back. This is pretty big. What? Was it a grocery store, grocery store? Like oh, big? Or a little corner like a type grocery market, store. Corner market kind of? Oh, like a market. Like a, oh, no more than 800 square feet. Okay, cool. So the person lived behind, <laughs> like Russian immigrants. <laughs> you could smell the hippie goosh cooking. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we just had a gas stove, gas refrigerator, uh-huh. a little platform bed, a dresser, and a table. Cool. And then the front half was divided into the, the area where we made the work, and then the other half was our showroom that we built from an old barn that we took down at a Smithy commune. Oh, and hung a sign out in front, we were paying $100 a month for the rent, and I built a kiln in the backyard wow. from bricks that we pulled uh-huh. out of an old boiler. A wood fire or a... Gas. No, it was gas. A great big 100 gallon, 250 gallon gas tank wow. right outside the window. Just safe. And uh, the only thing we didn't do is uh, we put together the burners. And the only thing that we did not do was drill out the orifice, which had to be a certain size for the gas to come out. We had that done professionally, but everything else we did. Wow. And, um, Were you off a main road or where were you? Were you off a main road? Uh, kind of. Yeah. I mean, it certainly wasn't fashionable. Yeah. It was outside of Ithaca. Yeah, that's amazing. So who were your who who came through to buy? What? What kind of people were buying? Were coming through? Well. College town, mm-hmm. one Ivy League and one private school, and you know, we put up signs downtown on telephone poles. I remember what they looked like. <laughs> Xerox machines would yeah. just come out so we could do them. Yeah. And um, we had pretty soon we had all kinds of people. Nice. Pretty soon we moved out and into a yurt. <laughs> that was upscale. <laughs> I had better go.
Well, tomorrow morning I'm going to Tahoe for 10 or 11 days. Have fun. Cheers. All right, back to work again. The world is watching.
into the garbage. <laughs> 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 There's so much smoke. Oh, gosh. Well, then I have to let them sit overnight and yeah. then bring them out and let them dry. Yeah. Just being in. Uh, and uh, the handles on them. Oh. And What did that mess? Did your hands? Did you have trouble with your hands? Really? No, oh. I still work with them. I mean, I make sculpture with cardboard without. Yeah. yeah. They're getting a little rough. I you know. don't. I've been, I've been, I've been having, yeah, I've been going to get acupuncture. Um, purple um, they don't know what it is. It's like one of my friends with a PT and she was kind of helping me and she thinks it might be nerves. Bad posture when I'm not oh, sure, like sure. like scrunching in, mm-hmm. and it like might actually be some pinching nerves. Yeah, and mm-hmm. like maybe some inflammation in my tendons, which uh-huh. is also like pinching sure. or something. But I don't really know what it is. Must be posture is essential. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to catch myself. I know. Yeah, that's, that's why she can do it. Yeah. I know. Body habits. And I've seen lots of tall people that were terrible posture. Yeah. yeah. It's unfortunate because they could well, it's be like such magnificent presence. Yeah. They were yeah. so shy, you know. Well, it's not even like shyness. It's yeah. just like, I'm just looking at you in the eye. You yeah. know, yeah. like, you just like. Well, that is true. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm probably a little, I mean, these aren't. Like, I like to wear my dance clothes because they, like, feel good on my knees and stuff, but then I'm, like, 6'3". <laughs> <laughs> Are you can tell me. Yeah, and I like raw looks whenever I wear them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, wait. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. I just want to peek out what you're doing. Should I shut this off, you then? so. Okay, I mean, wait, bye. Not too much excitement. Well, that's pretty exciting. Wait, wait. Wait, how do you do this thing? Which one is it? This you one. got one of three. Goodbye. Thanks, Anne. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> now what are you going to do? I mean, can you replay it? Yeah, so we can, we can save it and put it on YouTube if we want. <laughs> 